example, a taxi driver learns how to drive just by simulation on computer. Do you trust such a driver or can you give him a driving license? It's impossible without doing the experiment on a car. Well, they are basically from Hong Kong uh, VTC, they call this institute. And we have a program that RMIT uh, University is offering a mechanical engineering degree program there. Yeah. So they are all doing a bachelor degree in, uh, in mechanical engineering. Uh, it's an experiment of, uh, about the vibration, how to check the vibration of different structures and how it will, it will perform in the computer. Yeah, and maybe we take the data to show we can know how is it vibrate by taking some form. Output. You're going to change your frequency. You try to match here. Can't match. Really can't match. So what do you observe here? The output is trying to match the input. Okay? And he's trying to go faster and faster. That's what we say. The output is trying to match the input. So we have a frequency response. They, they are learning um, the subject heat transfer. So the heat exchangers are very important in day-to-day -day life. So they have to design heat, different type of heat exchangers in, if, if they become engineers, when they become engineers. So we are showing them how the different type of heat exchangers work and how efficient they are, what the temperature should be. So they learn the working of heat exchangers. This machine is called the heat exchange test equipment and we are doing the uh, heat exchange break the differences of his exchange rate in different flow or different configuration. As you can see, this is the heat exchange pipe and here is the heat exchange plate. We want to know the differences between using the uh, exchange pipe and the exchange plate. Collecting the data and calculate the differences with two different types of heat exchangers. And all my teaching, what I'm trying to do is to create courses that are project-based learning. And it's based on that phenomenal proverb, Chinese proverb, that says, you know, unless you do, unless you apply yourself doing things, you will not learn properly. You know, there's levels of how much you can learn by only watching, by only listening, that you're going to learn most if you do, if you practice. And so do you have, like, you were doing a wind tunnel experiment. Do you have a wind tunnel at your university in Hong Kong? No. Oh, so this is the first one you have seen? Yes. So this is a closed circuit written wind tunnels. This wind tunnel, this is the inlet where he is standing. This is the inlet and then the wind is coming. You see the squeezing and then where the wind is blowing this one. And then there is a very deep side. You can see the end of this wind tunnel. So this is, wind is, you know, bending to another direction. So this is a kind of circular path. There are some holes, you see? Why these holes are there? Do you have any idea? Acoustic, that's a good thing. Well done. So, so acoustic purpose, because there will be a lot of noisy things. Like, you know, you see that if you speed it up, like 120 km per hour, it will be like, you know, whole structure is like, you know, make, make noises like that. Of course, you know, this is a very interesting part of that, you know, the, the, this is a very, you know, one week crash program, you can see it's very intense and they are very busy, you know, the week and tomorrow is also a busy day for them, but it is not uh, in, in, the, in this campus, so it is far away from there. So we have selected a, a you know, industry, industrial visit is called, that is a part of our program and it will be a real life experience. So this is academic things and that is a real life, what is going on there. So this is also very important and we organize each, each visit that you know they will go their industry and then they can see the real uh, production is going on there so they can have a 
real experience. I think the best thing is the university has a very large area. Then we can see a lot of things we cannot see in the Hong Kong. Students that study with us outside of Australia are a really important part of, of RMIT. It's something that we value. You add a lot, you bring a lot. Yeah, so this is the practical, uh, what I already explained that you can see we have given them that, you know, experience like you know fast and experience like live experience not that simulation sometimes you can create some videos but video cannot explain the everything the real phenomena is going on you have to touch it you can see the vibration you can see that machine you can touch the machine so that it's the real life experience so this is very important for a student to know that you know real life experience